Okay, everyone. And uh, now I want to um, to show you on how to link uh, this is Fortran compiler and with Abacus. And the reason is that if you want to use user subroutines, uh, which are usually written in Fortran, and first you must link uh, this is the Abacus. Uh, with this is a Fortran compiler. Otherwise, you uh, will not be allowed to use this is a sub user subroutines. Um, so here I'm going to share, and this is the uh, and this picture. Uh, this is the uh, uh, file with you. There are several steps. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, first, um, in order to use subroutines for Abacus modeling. And you need to install the Abacus definitely, and also the Microsoft Visual Studio. And then you need to download this is Intel uh, One API based tool kit, which is free. So this is very, very good. And we are very, very grateful for this is a free, uh, this, is a, uh, this is a tool kit. And <clears throat> so then you need to go through the following steps and to link this is a Fortran and Abacus. So there are several steps I'm going to uh, walk you through. First one, um, in the shortcut, card, uh, you should end the following code, in the, end the code, uh, which is highlighted here, uh, to the already existing command. And in my case, I'm using Abacus 2020. Uh, I then get this, and then this, and this one. So uh, this is zero one. I end this is quotation mark here. So this is quotation mark. So here is uh, uh, the file. So this you get this file, and you get this one, and after you install, this is uh, in this is uh, this is a toolkit. So for my case, and we this is a, uh, a Visual Studio 20, uh, 2019. So this is so that's the reason I write this uh, VS twenty nineteen here. So this end end. So this is Emerson Emerson. So here is already there, okay? This is existing code here. And so what you need to do now here is that you just end this is the highlighted one and in, in, in yellow. So this is a first step. And second step is that, and so you can come here uh, in the folder, you can come to the folder C, uh, uh, come to the folder, uh, in, in that case, Abacus belt is called, and you call this Abacus Bad, bad, by the batch file. And so located here. So for um, this is located here. Okay, C uh, by default. So similar commands and by uh, by default. So to be able to use the Fortran compiler, and you need to end a line of code and uh, highlight it in yellow to this file. So here is a file. This here is my file. This is my file. So here you need to end this highlighted this line here. So which is um, the same as this one, however, and pay, uh, pay attention to this, the add call. So this is needed, okay? If you don't have this add call, and um, the system will, will say, um, give you some error message. So you need to closely uh, follow these steps. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. These are four lines, and this is six, six line, and they are uh, in the uh, in the the batch file already. So what you need to do is to end this and uh, this one that is highlighted in yellow. Uh, the third step is that, and uh, you need to add this is the uh, abacus um, is underscore v six env file. So in my uh, in my computer on my computer, um, it is this file is located in this directory. Uh, maybe this sometimes it is uh, kind of different uh, from this one, but you need you can check on where so this uh, env file is located on your system. So all this one you don't need to change anything here, but at the very end, and so you need to add this command line, this this line, on which is highlighted in yellow. Then and you save the file. Right? Don't do anything else and just save the file. And finally, so you need to check if the link between Abacus and Fortran is successful. So how to do that? 
you go to the iVocus command and go to the iVocus command, then enter this command uh, below, the under this command below uh, without the quotation marks. I'm giving you the three, uh, three lines, uh, three uh, commands here. If you see uh, dot dot pass, it means that on this model uh, being tested is okay for using and congratulations. So there are three different uh, this is commands. Uh, first a command and uh, to check, uh, this give you the system information. Abacus info, and this is equation sign system. And so after you type this in and you will see um, a lot of system information. For example, so this Abacus, Fortran, C++ compiler, and will be shown. So the second uh, command is Abacus verify space, dash all, so this all means that all the modules um, will be tested. So uh, including the user subroutine. Uh, so here is another one, Abacus verify space dash user underscore exp. And exp stands for the explicit. User means user subroutine. So this command uh, checks uh, uh, Abacus explicit with user subroutines and both single precision and a double precision. So if you use these three, uh, usually, so I check this one, if I just, uh, be, uh, if my system has been running very, very well, but now uh, I only want to link, this is Fortran uh, with my advocates, I usually just check this one, okay? It does not hurt to check, use this command to check all these modules that have been tested, that have been installed. So if you receive the pass, P-A-S-S, and for each of these modules um, you have tested, that means that your system is very, very, uh, is, is ready for using. So I hope uh, this video and will be helpful for, uh, for you to link, this is Ibocus and uh, this is uh, 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 Fortran, and because we know that uh, without user subroutine, and we could not do something uh, very, very sophisticated. And so um, I hope you will find this system, the video, very, very helpful. Um, if you have any questions, and feel free to leave comments um, below. And um, thank you very much for your attention, and I wish you a, a healthy, fruitful new year. Happy New Year.